give him a drumming from there. I hope I can, anyway. Tower on the wall. So yeah, th my idea with this is to just, uh, well, I can't say it's a cheese because it's not. But, and I, admittedly, I want to go spell sword rather than archer sword, like uh, sword wielding archer. But this is my first playthrough. I'm going to do whatever it takes. Okay, so we're going to ignore him. Ow. Thank you, throwing knives. Nice. Ow. On the plus side, I can now kill him with a by spamming the basic attack, which is good because I'm going to be killing a lot of them. Okay. Now my question is: if I attack him with an with a bow from here, first of all, will I do any significant damage? Not bad. Uh. Oh boy, he did not like that. I'm not even sure I can actually kill him. <laughs> you know something? I have an idea. Let's infuse the uh, I'm not going to use raw infusion on much but let's infuse the longbow because I'm primarily going to be using it for pulling rather than anything else like separating out mobs I may occasionally use it for taking down weaker mobs just for speed hmm could help it could help uh, I just wonder how much it's going to cost me that's the thing ah, oh, you I uh, will infuse a... Uh, seriously, I can't infuse a bow. Oh, that sucks. And I, I don't even have enough Titanite shards to do it, so... Pretty be careful. I'm always careful, man. Always. One other thing I wanted to show, because it's quite interesting, is the storage box. First of all, you get it from the beginning, but here's the great thing. If you max out your carry weight of something like, I have the maximum number of firebombs, if I get more, they're automatically dumped into the box. It's a great idea, and I'm surprised that it took them this long to do it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I wanted to travel. What am I doing? Uh... Yeah, tower on the wall. So, this is my idea. I want to get rid of that dragon because there's stuff on top of that wall. I want to get it. I don't want to be dealing with that dragon every time. Okay, it's useful for so for farming souls quickly. But the thing about it is, I'm not going to need to worry about farming souls in this area for much longer. If I indeed I have to worry about it any longer at all. Oh, you son of a... Okay, Estus. Oi, Arsop. Oh shit, oh shit, bad. Oh, that went terribly. <laughs> that was bloody awful, okay. So, maybe what we can do is... What the... I, uh, uh... Now, I wonder if I... Don't think that hurt me, because, uh... It didn't. Awesome. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm too far away. Okay, so we do that. 
Oh, for frick's sake, what does it take to hit him? And I'm out of mana. Okay, uh, that would be a problem. Hmm. Wondering if I go through, could I get a better shot at him? It's possible. I suppose. Oh. mistake. Right, we are going to deal with that mimic, just not right this second. See, I want to do this, but I don't really want to just be an asshole about it, you know? Okay, so I think I can attack him from about here without... Yeah. This is going to take a while. Oh, I can't do that, of course. So, I will be back as soon as this bugger is almost dead. <laughs> yeah, so apparently he doesn't die. He just runs away. Like a chicken shit. That's okay. I'm fine with that. Uh, in the end, what I did was I... Oh, crap. I targeted the... Kind of the elbow on the inside of his wing. And then he would turn and hit the wing itself. Very effective. Very, very effective. Club. Ember. So yeah, that's half of my unfinished business. Ooh, Claymore. Nice. Anything else? Something else here. Larso, deserted corpse, and that looks like it. Now, my question is, will that bugger be back? When I reset, will he return? That is a definite concern. Mm. So I'm going to bonfire. And then it is mimic time, because I want to kill that bugger. I hate him. I hate the mimic and everything it stands for. Mimicry and hiding and ambushing. Except for when, you know, I hide and ambush. But that's a totally different thing. I'm a hero, damn it. Okie dokie. Come on, you. Oh, you. Bastard, I keep getting the timing wrong on that. Is it back? No. Oh, that's bad. Wonder how much I can sell that armor for. If the legs are 300 apiece, probably quite a bit. Hmm. Okay, this is going to end badly. Ah, 
Actually, this boat is decent damage even un unupgraded. Yeah, I can do this faster, so we'll do that. <laughs> Goodbye, Mimic. Your revels now are ended. You but ugly ambushing bastard. Wow. That's actually that's actually a decent soul value. Okay. Deep battle axe. Okay. We'll have a look at that now in a second. Because I still haven't settled on my main weapon. I just for this playthrough, I just know I don't want to do uh, the spear route again because, well, they are kind of hiding behind your shield. It really slows down the game. Let's put it that way. Okay, so deep axe. Uh, I'm not going to need you for, again for a while. Deep battle axe. Okay, so it does decent dark damage, big physical damage. Easily wielded axe crafted for battle and inflicting standard damage. Its weight can be used to inflict high damage, but must be care used carefully. Excuse me, carefully as it leaves the wielder open to retaliation. Skill war cry. Okay. Okay. So, what would you be like? Well. Actually, it's pretty good on the stamina front. What's the spe- Ugh! Ooh. No, fat rolling. Forget that. Okay, onward. Next, we are going to High Wall of Lothric. Because there is an area where we ended la la uh, the last session that I have yet to explore. And I'm actually kind of curious about it because it's, it, I don't know, it's doors. Also, there's a blue knight and I reckon fighting him is going to be pretty disastrous. But you know what? That'll be fun. Disaster is always fun. Asshole. You know, the thought occurs to me, it's not an ins I don't have an insignificant amount of souls, I should probably... I should probably go back to the shrine and uh, level up, because that would probably be a very good idea. Uh, I'm kind of... I think my aim for this character, assuming this playthrough goes long enough, is to bring all my attributes up to a soft cap of 200 and then just pump up what I need for whatever weapon I settle on. So uh, yeah, that's basically my plan right now. Welcome home, speak. Level Very up. well, then take no. Okay. Uh, now I pumped my dexterity up enough so I could use that bow. Manifestations of disparity. Elucidated by fire, burrow deep within me. Hmm. To a darkness beyond the reach of flame. Stamina isn't Let exactly a problem right now. Uh, inhabiting ash, casting themselves upon new forms. No, we'll go with strength and upper damage. Just a little bit more. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flip. Yeah, I'd like to see what she looks like without that. I think it's a crown welded to her face. So yeah, I think... Now, bear in mind I say the word think. I think I found an area where there might be another bonfire to speed up runs to that boss. Hopefully. 
because while that boss is not insanely tough, it's definitely not a fun fight. Well, yeah, it is. Oh, great. Oh, you... Ugh, dogs. I love dogs in reality, but... Come on. Okay, I want to drop, but I don't want to... Where is he? Still not quite a one hit kill for uh, the standard swordman. I think the next level up should do that. We'll see. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Which is a really dumb question to ask in a Souls game. Yeah, they're dead. Now, I need to remember that there is a crossbowman here. And then let him kill me. Firebomb. Okay, we're not gonna go in through there. Actually, I'm gonna drop down and deal with those two spearmen first. Although, yeah, just to give myself some fighting space. Okay. Now we have Oh shit, I do not want to fight two of these guys. One? Yeah. Two? Uh uh. Actually, I like the way the set looks. I mean I know it's a hodgepodge of pieces, but You Okay, that's one down. Tighten a shard and a lot of great shield. That's two. Night gauntlets. I'm gonna need to pump up my strength to be able to use that item up there. And another. Ah! God damn it, so close. <laughs> yeah, these knights are tough as. I don't even know a word for it. Hmm. Right. Okay, this guy's gonna come running up here. Okay, that's one. Okay, drop here. I'm gonna wait till he moves past because 
plunging. Okay, plunging. Not so good. Right. Uh, I'm going to call this back up. I wish there was a simple way to... Actually, there probably is. I should just run over the pressure pad and speed up this. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. And it'll work unless I have to go back up. Yeah. I do love the way this looks. It's kind of battered and it looks like something that a mercenary would use. Ha! One blow, all four. <laughs> 